Hello and welcome to the eWay CRM tutorial videos. Today, we would like to show you how to create custom fields and modify the existing ones. Every business is unique. It is an amazing melting pot of processes, people, ambitions, and experience. Often, two companies from the same industry use CRM completely different. Therefore, we designed our product so that it can be customized to fit anybody. One of the basic requirements is the ability to make custom fields and to change the attributes of the existing ones. Often, you may need to save a piece of information that has no field in the module, or you need to set up a field as a mandatory to ensure that everybody fills it in. There is much more you can do. Let's have a look. We split this video into the following sections. First, how to create a custom field. Second, how to modify an existing field. Third, how to modify dropdown menus. Fourth, field permissions. Let's begin. First, how to create a custom field. To create a custom field, open the Administration Center. Go to Custom Fields and select a module where you want to make the field, for example, Contacts. You will get a list of all fields from that module. You can find there the standard fields along with the custom ones, all sorted alphabetically. The table contains the field name, its type, database name, or if it's marked as required or important. To create your new field, click on this button. Fill in the field name and select its type. Let's start tracking birth dates, so the name will be date of birth and the type will be date. There are plenty of types you can choose from. Single line text, multi line text, number, date, checkbox, and so on. Most of the types contain additional settings you can configure. Feel free to click through them when you have a second. In modules, you can select other modules where you want to make the field. In the case of our date of birth, let's just keep it in contacts for now. You can also add a description. It can help users by providing a better explanation of how to use the field. To the right, you can make the field required, important, unique, or read only. Let's leave them blank because we will talk about the options later in this video. As I said, some field types allow you to set up additional parameters. In the date field, you can set up if your field also operates with time or not. This doesn't work for us, so we will keep it blank. Click Next to get to the second screen where you can set the access rights. We may want to make some fields read only or hide them completely from some groups of users. Let's keep it simple and skip it. We will talk about the field permissions more detailed in the last part of this video anyway. As soon as we are done, click Create Field, and that's it. Let's just quickly open a new contact and click on the tab Custom Fields to make sure the field is there. You can also put the field right into the main contact section. If you want to learn that, use our form designer. We recorded a special video about how to use it. Of course, you can also put the field to the list of contacts. You already know how to do that via user views. That's it, simple. Second, how to modify an existing field. You can modify the existing fields in the same place. So Admin Center, Fields. Let's go to Contacts again and we'll get a list of all fields. You can modify most of them. We just had to lock some of the system fields to protect the data integrity. Let's find the field Email1 and click on this button. On the Edit screen, you can set up if the field should be required, important, if you want to keep only unique values, or if it should be read only. I will mark the field as unique because most of the people have their own email addresses. By selecting this option, we are creating a simple mechanism that prevents avoiding duplicates. Besides, if we make it unique, it will be automatically marked as mandatory. Click Save. Let's also find mobile and set it up as important to see the difference. Save again and switch to eWay to create a new contact. As you can see, the field Email1 is red, which means that it's mandatory. If we try to save the contact, eWay CRM won't allow us, we have to type in something. I will intentionally make a mistake and enter an email address that's already listed by another contact in eWay CRM. I want to show you the message you get if you try to enter a duplicate value. Let's correct it and try again. 
This message notifies us about the importance of the mobile phone. As you can see, you can skip it if you don't have the number and fill it in later. The attributes required, important, unique, and read-only are automatically applied to everybody from within your organization. It's a simple way of how to set up basic company rules. If you need something more complex and make a field, let's say, mandatory for a certain group of people, we've got something else to show you. It's called field permissions. Before we move there, let's have a look at drop-down menus first. Third, how to modify drop-down menus. Drop-down menus are fields that contain a list of values from which the user chooses the right one. Sometimes they are called list views, list boxes, combo boxes, etc. We call them drop-down menus. Drop-down menus are useful when you want the users to choose one right option from many, for example, referral source of a deal. Hardly any deal can come from email, reference, and phone at the same time. As you would expect, you can easily customize the list of available options as you wish. Log into the Administrator Center and click on Fields. Click on the module Deals and find the field referral source. Click on this icon to enter the edit screen. You will get the well-known dialog with a list of available options. Visible says if the value should be available in Eway CRM. If you don't use it anymore, just hide it. Default is obvious, and stage name as well. Let's create a new option, cold calling. Click on the plus icon on the left at the top. You will see a new row. Enter cold calling and click anywhere in the dialog. If you come from a multinational environment and need to work with different translations, add the additional language by clicking this button. You can also drag and drop the options to change their order. As soon as it is ready, click on Save and have a look at the change in Eway CRM. Open the deal and click on Referral Source. There is the new value cold calling. The order has also been applied. The rest is as we have left it before. Using these steps, you can modify any drop down menu in Eway CRM, including the custom fields. It's easy. If you need to create a brand new drop down menu, Follow the steps from the first section and create a new custom field. The type you are looking for is drop-down. Fourth and lastly, field permissions. As we said in the second part of this video, the attributes required, important, unique, and read-only are automatically applied for everybody from within your company. What if we need to make a field required for a certain group of users only while allowing others to skip it? We can use field permissions. Let's have a look. We already know how to edit a specific field. So let's take deals, for example, and the field estimated revenue. We will click field permissions on the edit screen. We will get a list of all user groups because we set up permissions to groups in Eway CRM. If you assign somebody to a group, they will receive permissions of the group. If a user belongs to more groups, they get the lower permission. Let me explain. Imagine that you belong to groups administrator and project manager. The administrator has full permissions, while the project manager can only access the field as read-only. Your final permission will be read-only because it's lower. Let's have a look. My demo user is assigned exactly to these two groups, administrator and project manager. We will choose the permission, users see this field but they can't edit values, for project managers, which is in fact read-only. If we switch to Eway CRM and open a deal, the field is locked. If somebody else who is not the project manager opens a deal, the field will be available and they will be able to change the value. You can set up various permissions to the individual fields. Just give it a minute or two and review the available options. Last tip, you may need to set up all field permissions for a specific group rather than one field permission. If it is so, don't go field by field, but click on the section groups. Find the one you want to modify and click on the tab Field Permissions. In there, select a module and set your permissions for all fields. It's easy. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, you can like it on YouTube. If you wish to learn more about Eway CRM, you can also visit our blog or social networks.
You can also contact us at support at eway-crm.com. We are ready to help you. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day. And don't forget, be effective with eway-crm.